Oh, here's a good one. Hey guys, Joe here. Welcome to TND Video Games. If you're new to the channel, myself and my business partner Dave, we run a retro video gaming store inside a flea market in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. The flea market's unique in that it's only open Sundays, so it's a very part-time venture for us, but we enjoy doing it. I did an unboxing video last week, which a lot of people seem to like, so we're gonna unbox this box of random Atari and Nintendo stuff and see what's in here. I have an idea of what's in here, but uh, we're gonna just pull things out and kind of be surprised together. So, let the giver. So first up, POW for the NES. Great game, based on the arcade version. Can't go wrong with POW. Gunsmoke. Amazing game. I think this was on Dave's list of uh, games to get for the NES with a budget of $150. I missed it on my list, but Dave caught it, so good job, Dave. I know there's some good stuff in this lot, because we did pay for it. Base is loaded. Contra. And someone actually wrote on the back, there's like a movie store label, which already makes this cool. And then it's got the up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start, Konami code. Someone markered that on the back of the cart so whoever whoever borrowed this or rented it would know what the code is i guess so i'm i'm gonna leave this on here guys i don't th i think whoever buys this should leave that on there to me that's really cool super sprint low-key hidden gem by tangan so buddy and i used to rent this all the time this is a really cool like one screen racing game and uh yeah huge fan of that one super c Kind of broken at the bottom, but this is a great game to sell at a discount at one of our outdoor sales to someone who just wants to play Super C and doesn't care about the condition. And WWF WrestleMania, Super Mario Brothers Duck Hunt, another Mario Duck Hunt, and a really rough Mario Duck Hunt. Some outdoor sale there. And look at that, another Mario Duck Hunt. Can't go wrong with Mario Duck Hunt though. It always sells, we, we always need them. We do have a lot of them, but we'll take them if they're coming our way. Stealth, Snake's Revenge, Metal Gear 2. Great game there. And then we've got, it says Nintendo, Gordon, Katina, Samantha's game. So I wonder if this was like, they put their name on it. The three kids had to share a game. <laughs> that would have been rough back in the day having one Nintendo for three kids. Renegade. Oh, here's a good one. Gargoyles Quest 2. So this game's probably worth more than all the NES games put together that I've pulled out. A few stickers there, as you can see, from a rental store, but I think we can clean this one up and get it working well. Turtles 2. And look at that, another Mario Duck Hunt. Oh, here's a good one. Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Great seller for us, great game. Dragon Power, rough label on that one. Time Lord, very 90s, 80s title for a game. TNC Surf Designs, pretty much any lot with NES games will have this game in it. A rough copy of Mario 2, again, outdoor sale game for sure. K plus S Brown, so you guys did not take care, the, the Browns did not take care of their, uh, their games. Rad Racer, Ice Hockey, the second best uh, hockey game on the NES after Blades of Steel. Robin Hood, again, rough condition. Definitely going to the outdoor sale. And what do we got here? Amidar. That is a very sci-fi title for sure. And Super Mario 3. And it is the rare Canadian one, but it is in really rough shape. So again, that'll be an outdoor sale bundle game. Lots of Atari stuff. E.T. Every collector has to have E.T. for Atari. I mean, at this point, the story is... Uh, it's pretty famous where they buried all the unsold cartridges. Then they actually dug them up decades later and actually found them, which is kind of cool. Blockade Runner. Brain Strainers. Sammy Lightfoot. Hmm. So before Artie Lightfoot, there was Sammy Lightfoot. The Dukes of Hazard. Space Jockey. Pac-Man in rough shape. I must say a lot of this stuff is in pretty rough shape, so we didn't go very high on the value for this one. But again, still fun to go through. This one says Parker Brothers on it, but no idea what game it is. So Mystery Game. Always fun to find out what the mystery games are. Road Rash 3 for the Genesis. That's a good one. Can't go wrong with Road Rash. Bulls versus the Blazers in the NBA playoffs. Lotus 2. This is a lot of outdoor sale stuff so far. Sequest for the Atari. Freeway. I must say they're very inconsistent with how like the carts are oriented. So if I put in the upside down, I apologize. Star Raiders. Mystery game, but there's some tape on here. It says racing car and enduro car racing. So be interesting to see what that is. ColecoVision game, super action football. 
There you go. It was Super before the Super Nintendo. Little Donkey Kong for the Coleco. Can't go wrong with some Donkey Kong. Defender for the Atari. Jungle Hunt. Some more Atari there. Frogger. Indy 500. Centipede. So all those arcade ports on the Atari. Lock and Chase. Oink. Very interesting game title there. Jungle Hunt again. Probably a lot of duplicates in here. And we've got Game Program Video Olympics. Get your game programs here. Frostbite and another mystery game. So quite a few mystery games. The labels, uh, a lot of bad labels in this lot, but again, we're gonna go through it. Miss Pac-Man, Defender, Warlords, Berserk, Battle Zone, Pole Position. This one's kind of neat. Double Ender, Robin Hood and Sir Lancelot. That's kind of cool. It's like two games in one. And hopefully it still works. Yar's Revenge. Another Coleco game. Super Action Baseball. Again, they were making Super Baseball games before the Super Nintendo. Star Master. This one says Space Cavern. No label on it, but we'll take that, the end label's word for it. Pit Stop. We're just throwing Atari games around, apparently. They seem, they seem durable. Warlords. Again, I think we already had that one. Defender. Another classic arcade game. Asteroids. Lots of iconic titles in this lot. Venture. So not adventure, but venture. Demons to Diamonds. That's a cool name. Name for a game. Missile Command. Game Program Combat. Gotta have a game program. Mousetrap for the Coleco. Oh, this is cool. Mario Brothers, the arcade game for the Atari 2600. So back before Nintendo had their own system, they were licensing to Atari. Stampede. Genesis. The Berenstain Bears. I'm sure that's a classic. Probably a really quiet holiday game. Outdoors fishing tournament, bass tournament. Here's a good one. Golden Axe 2, always good to get Golden Axe stuff. Sells very well. Another mystery game, looks like an EA game, so who knows? Oh, we got a few Nintendo 64 games in here. Super Mario 64, Jet Force Gemini, and NHL Breakaway 98, so it looks like a claim sport, so not, not the EA Sports one. Copy of Super Mario World. This is in pretty much any lot you're gonna get, so. Actually sell really well right now, so need more of those. Hard Driving, I used to rent this game back in the day. It is terrible. The arcade was really cool, but the home version, like it literally was like one of those like stop animation movies, went really slow. 3D was still really cool though. Battle Clash. And then there's some Genesis in here too, some loose Genesis. Street Fighter 2 Special Champion Edition. Sonic 3D Blast, actually a harder Genesis game to find right now. Sonic the Hedgehog, the first one. Always need copies of this. We have a lot of Sonic 2. Sonic 1 we actually sell out of sometimes. Mortal Kombat 2, better on the Super Nintendo, but then we've got Mortal Kombat 1. A-B-A-C-A-B-B, -B -B, Blood Code, only on the Genesis. Another copy of Sonic the Hedgehog. A rough Sonic 2, that'll be a throw in in a bundle for our outdoor sale. Another Yar's Revenge. Columns. Primal Rage. Desert Demolition. Never heard of that one. And to cap it all off, oh, not bad, we actually, we've got Sonic 3. And so. There you go, guys. That's everything in that box. So I like doing these unboxing videos. So I'll probably do more. This one, the stuff wasn't as glamorous as the last one. But then again, Every lot kind of has its value as long as you're paying the right price for it. So this one we would have paid a lot less than the last lot where we were paying multiple thousands of dollars to get high quality stuff in. This stuff we'll be able to process and flip for a profit. Um, might take a little bit more time, but again, you gotta take it as it comes to you. So once again, guys, thanks for doing this unboxing with me and uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers.